Hi, I'm Nina San. Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Abby Kareen, your friendly neighborhood nerd, and we are back with Community. This is episode 10 of season four called Intro to Knots. We're going to jump in. Last episode was adorable and <laughs> ridiculous with the puppets, so I'm interested to see what's going to happen this time. If you'd like to check out the full reaction to this episode, you can find it on my Patreon. There we're at least three weeks ahead. And don't forget to like, leave a comment, and subscribe, and follow me on my social media. How Christmas! Oh, we're having... Look at us. Are we're having a party. Grown up Christmas party. Thanks for hosting. Fun. Jeff's place looks fabulous. Zhuzh right there. A few things to add a little Annie. Annie, do we have to have another talk about you wanting to play house with me? Shaw. <laughs> Not the throw blanket. What is this? Oh, I know. Is this going to be like a rom con? I couldn't resist. You realize you just put your friends in a very awkward position. A gift creates obligation. This feels like a play, like a. <laughs> Come on. Oh, Anya, I know what you did with the play. Oh, that's a work in progress. <laughs> Good tidings, fellow oh! Christmas celebrators. Troy looks fabulous. Hi, thank you all so much for inviting me. To Hi, my Kevin. First Christmas. Oh, Annie explained to me that no gifts means bring gifts. I'm getting it. No means yes. This is Christmas. Just this. I was hoping we could do a Die Hard in a restaurant. There's a place called Nakatomi Sushi. I hear the Hans group yes. is to die for. Yes. Let's. Now that we're all here. Oh, wait. Where's Pierce? Oh, sensitivity training with Gilbert. Also, I don't know if it's um, okay, well, are... true or not, but I did hear from someone that Pierce was out of these because he was having a hard time with, with the rest of the cast or producers or something fill me in on that which is why he's not here me i want to know who cost me my early graduation i didn't, I didn't I do anything been, I didn't work wrong I worked really hard. Guys, there's no need to point fingers because i haven't told you the good news i invited the professor to our party tonight oh i don't know about that i don't know about that for the purpose of story symmetry i suggest we wait here silently until the professor arrives that's the only real plot point we need next Okay. Oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Here we go. Um, mm, 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 mm. Kaye, Father Christmas. Oh my god. I tried to get you taking off shoes, but I didn't know how to wrap it. Oh, John McLean's tank top? <sighs> You're getting really good at Christmas, Troy. Yes. This does really seem like um like a play. <laughs> I've been in a couple and it's just like the Mara same kind of Oh my gosh. These are melon slices Ooh. with ham. And asparagus wrapped in salmon. I mean, yum. I believe it was the hunt. Actually, that... you know, I was talking to the ladies. Oh. <laughs> well, I'll, you, I'll leave you 3B, all right? He's a charmer. Be honest. Your section sucked, right? No way. I wrote an entire book on the Peloponnesian War. Wow, you pronounced it right. She's working hard on her degree. My section gets an F, the worst we could end up with is a C minus. So you just left your section blank? No, yeah. Of course not. I copied and pasted the lyrics to War What Is It Good For? Good God! Shh. Jeff. That's their fault. I have carefully cultivated a persona that screams you're on your own. Oh my God. <laughs> I love the face. <laughs> the judgy face. Oh, it isn't. Queen of Hearts. No, I'm asking, is this a card? Hey, Kevin. <laughs> did you know that we have bubble wrap? Poppy, poppy paper. You so enjoy that. <laughs> Me too. Yo, who else? I mean, why do you indulge that idiot? Oh, I too was skeptical at first, but now I actually have some sympathy. I believe it was Tacitus who said, You know, Mr. Wingo. Um, I love bubble wrap. I used to pop it all the time. To get valedictorian. Oh. You ruined our Christmas dinner so you could be crowned the smartest person at the dumbest school? But the only reason I agreed to kiss that pompous angle's ass. Well, don't say it out loud. News, Mr. Winger. You may remove your lips from my buttocks because oh. you have, in fact, succeeded in changing your grade. It's now an F. What? You're effing us. Give us a minute. This is a terrible misunderstanding, and I'm sure we can get this whole thing sorted out. But he has to go soon. Bedroom, now. What What is Abba going to do? He has it on, therefore he's going to do something. That's what we can do right now. Let me handle this. Did he... You big hairy what? I'm proving my worth to you guys. Oh my God, you want me to kill him? 
Kevin. <laughs> I mean Chang, it's Chang. It's I have Changnesia, not a dog. Sister, we're so sorry. Obviously, Kevin made a mistake. Or did he? Oh my gosh. Are we going to torture the man? Been in this apartment. Maybe you attacked one of us. Oh, really? Where are the signs of struggle? Oh, you were full of scotch when things took a dark turn. <laughs> You lumbered around the room. We had to assume you were coming after me or Britta or Charlie, who I didn't mention earlier because she intimidates you sexually. Point B. Let's just take the idea of the so point. dumb. <laughs> yeah, so all in real time. everybody stop it. No one listened to him. The professor's job is to make us turn on one another. Yeah. We hold all the cards as long as we stay united. <sighs> Who's gonna crack first? Typically, it takes a while for villains to ramp up. Promise not to monologue till I get back? Give it up, so professor. Funny. You got nothing. Oh, I've got plenty. Why don't we just let him go and be done with I love this. This is like some mind... mind fuck. <laughs> See that, Professor? Your offer actually made it harder for you to get untied because no one wants to be the betrayer. Beware the eyes of March. Everyone wants to be the betrayer. I want to know what that's from. Chava, when you're winning the room, mm -hmm. of Rome, when it was raping half the world, but when Hannibal came charging over the Alps, the Romans turned on themselves as quickly as you can see. I love this. I love getting a history lesson. In any group of seven, there's bound to be some romantic entanglements. Yeah, I've noticed that Annie Bond is dating the childish black one. But I wonder, does anyone take issue with that pairing? You're fishing, Professor. Surely. If there was heat, I'd be nervous. And if I was nervous, I'd be rambling. And I'm definitely not rambling, so there's no heat. <laughs> found our triangle. Thank you, and welcome to the party, Troy. He knows my man. Guys. <laughs> Enough. It's time to stop asking about and get serious. Oh my gosh, in my heart. Yeah, surely. Why didn't you ever tell me about it? I didn't think it was a competition. Oh, of course you'd play it that way so I wouldn't get it. No. Yeah. What else do you have to lose, my dear? All of your I mean, friends. These people are not here to support you. I mean, they already hate you for this disaster of a pop. Oh, he's going in. I mean, I would give him some popcorn. Who disappears? Oh my god. <laughs> Jeff, do you have any milk duds? Oh my god, he's so fucking funny. Actually, popcorn and milk duds. That is a combo. That is. Next time you decide to have a party without me, Jeffrey, at least have the decency to do it when I'm in spin class. I'm a blast at holiday themed parties. He is. And just touching on the ad. <laughs> Why in God's name would I leave? He's having too much fun. It's just getting interesting. Now, what about your daughter's thing? I don't give a crap. Because whoever it was, I know it was some flawed, selfish, weak, hopeless soul like me. <laughs> I love all that. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have some gifts to open. Oh. My first, my first. There you go. Lady. <laughs> I wonder what he is. Kevin, just... did you wrap these presents yourself? Oh. And how do you tie a knot? It's really simple. You wrap it here, like so. He just can't tie things. What do you want me to say? <laughs> that I did it because I'm lonely. My daughter isn't in town. No. She never comes to see me because she finds me too manipulative. Seeing as you saved me from my yearly Christmas tradition of plum pudding, oh. roasted goose, and updating oh. my suicide note, <laughs> I suppose <laughs> I could give you a C. Yeah, or like B plus, B, a B. Plus. Okay, there you go. Something. Oh, the brownie Bible. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You always, you get to lord it over me for the next year. No, stupid. Gifts are the 
paid an obligation. It's the I just love. Oh, look at the gumball thing Troy got. Oh, what did he bring? Out of you guys. Yes, did you bring here. some goods? I was going to save these for the real Christmas day, but uh, these guys are going to antsy. Are they puppies? Kittens? Oh, oh my god. August, and this August. Is James. I want one. No, I already have two. I know. I'm going to be that cat lady. Oh and nice times like this. I wonder what's happening in the darkest timeline. Timeline? Abed, there are no dark timelines. Yes, there is. I want to go, but yes. So beautiful has been removed from society. Miss Edison, you are hereby released oh my from God. Greendale Insane Asylum. Insane. <laughs> you sure you don't have a problem with our age difference? Yeah, I wish you were even younger. Now come on, the others are waiting. <laughs> The fact that that's going to be a thing at some point just makes me giddy. <laughs> this was a silly episode. I, uh, I like, uh, what's his name? Malcolm. Um, yeah, Malcolm McDowell. He's just like, I enjoy him again, like from the Halloween stuff. That's the main thing. But I've seen him in other stuff, but it's just like he's a fun uh, addition to the show. And I like his character just being one that's just like, yeah, manipulating them into, like, finding a Judas or, oh, what was he saying? Like, tearing them from the inside out. I'm just like, <laughs> what a deranged teacher. But I would, I would definitely take him to, like, a dinner party or an escape room. I don't know, something. He seems like a fun time. I wanted to look up his quotes where he says, Beware the, Id the idols of March. It's a warning to watch out for betrayal or misfortune. Ooh, it refers to March 15th, the day in which Roman Emperor Julius Caesar was assassinated. How fun. See, I learned a little bit of history. I like that a lot. I already said it before, but I liked this episode because it kind of gave a, um, a Broadway play kind of feel. Yeah, very much like a scene versus like what we typically typically get in an episode, but uh, I enjoyed it a lot. I liked everyone's chemistry and the goofiness. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I would just be sitting with Ovid without popcorn because it's just fun. It's just like what, what a weird situation they all found themselves in there. But, uh, but I'm glad everyone learned that they would, you know, stick up for each other. But yeah, overall, just, just a fun episode. Uh, <laughs> and I like Christmas episodes too. Like they're not my favorite, like Halloween episodes, but Christmas is also fun. And, uh, lastly, just freaking Chang, just being Changful, but obviously his plot is to get them expelled, which we've, we've known that we've seen that happen a couple times. So, but I do enjoy seeing his like little bits come into <laughs> little bits come into this and how it will affect the whole plot you know overall but um also just shout out to the darkest timeline I just can't wait because we've seen you know dark Abed and it's just like we need to see the others break through the barrier I want to see like a full-on battle I'm ready for that <laughs> uh, but that's gonna be it so thank you for watching and I will see you in the next reaction bye